channel today's topic is syncope which is an important short note from OMFS now syncope is made of two types postural syncope and vasovagal syncope postural syncope is due to sudden change in posture and in an exam point of view when they ask for syncope you have to actually write about vasovagal syncope let's see in detail a vasovagal syncope definition is it is defined as a transient loss of consciousness due to cerebral ischemia caused by a reduction in blood supply to the brain. So it is a reversible loss of consciousness due to reduced oxygen supply to the brain because of reduced blood supply. In a dental setup, extreme fear, pain and anxiety causes syncope. Causes like we said, psychologic factor, pain or fear. Postural changes, sudden change in posture can cause syncope. Anoxia and carotid sinus syndrome. Let's see the pathophysiology of vasovagal syncope. Suppose a patient is coming to you for a dental extraction and the patient is highly anxious. So there is increased release of catecholamines like adrenaline or adrenaline, which will lead to decreased peripheral vascular resistance. And there is pooling of blood in peripheries, which results in decreased arterial blood pressure. This decrease in arterial blood pressure will lead to compensatory mechanisms in which there is increase in heart rate, rapid breathing, pallor and perspiration. And soon decompensation occurs or the opposite occurs and there is hypotension, reduced cerebral blood flow and thus syncope occurs. Now, when you are writing the pathophysiology, always remember to write it in the form of a flow chart so that it is easy for the invigilator to correct. Signs and symptoms, dizziness, pallor, you will notice that the patient is becoming pale, cool and clammy skin, when you touch the patient's hands, it's very cold and clammy, sweating, you can see perspiration on the patient's forehead, visual disturbances, pulse when you check is slow and feeble and fainting. Management, this is very important, first stop the treatment. Make the patient lie down in supine position with legs slightly raised. Then you can use aromatic ammonia. Ammonia salt acts as a respiratory stimulant and results in return of consciousness. Assist the airway and monitor vital signs. Use oxygen if required through a venting mask or nasal cannula. And if the breathing is absent, perform basic life support and summon for medical assistance. Stress Reduction Protocol This is important to avoid episodes of syncope, especially in anxious patients. So you can pre-medicate with hypnotics the night before surgery so that the patient sleeps well. Pre-medicate with sedatives on the day of surgery. Schedule the surgery in the morning. Minimize the waiting time as well as the length of the appointment. During the surgery, use adequate pain control measures. And after surgery, give proper post-operative analgesics. Syncope has been asked as a short note several times and management of syncope in particular has also been asked. Reference has been taken from SM Balaji and Neelima Malik. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you found them helpful, please subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss any new videos. Thank you.